What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I am bringing you guys my very first time playing Ski Region Simulator. Now, quick disclaimer, I have no idea what I'm doing. Now, the question mark went away too quickly, so I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Can I drive this? Yes. That's kind of loud, I hope that's not too loud on the recording. And can we hook up? Yes, we can. And... How would we lower it? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, and apparently we have to be outside the thing in order to, uh, in order to see that, but... Can we plow this snow? Uh, we would be able to, but... I don't know how to lower that blade. I'm sure you can, but I don't know how to. Maybe this will tell me. Uh, this is your first sea slope. Use your equipment to keep the slopes in good condition. Otherwise, your guess, your the. That sentence make that doesn't make sense. Use your equipment to keep the to keep your slopes in good condition. Otherwise, your guess count will start worldwide. There's not. There's no otherwise to that. There's it. That's weird. Uh. Okay, okay. I see, okay. So... I may have to- oh my god, there's a car! I didn't know there were cars in this! And I'm gonna actually see... If there is a, apparently you can't, like, look at the controls. That's stupid. Um. I guess that might hook up to the back? I have no idea what it is, but we'll see. We'll see, I guess. Line it up. Alright, let's see. Slope number 8 is in poor condition and should be groomed. Let's see. Uh, assistant total cost $20,000. Uh... Well, I won't hire the assistant. I'll do it myself. So, the V... Uh, let's see, V to lower the groomer. And is this... Yeah, that's 8. So, I guess we start wherever this particular snow is, so... Oh, yeah, I see what we're doing. Wow, we're moving fast all of a sudden, like, really fast. Way faster than we originally started. I was like, what the hell? It's like, way quicker. Is that bar not really whoa he just skied through me I was like am I gonna like cut this dude in half or is he gonna actually like be able to go <laughs> don't get caught on the like inflatable arch because if that happens then you're gonna miss a section Ooh, come on so the slope isn't actually that big I was worried it was gonna be kind of like just huge and it would take forever to do but I don't think it's going to be that bad. It doesn't look that bad. At least from here it doesn't. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. The thing is, I highly doubt that in real life you'd be doing this while there were skiers on the slope. But then again, I know nothing about skiing, so... <laughs> It was probably, like, a bad idea for me to get, like, for me to try this game in the first place, but I'm all for trying new games, so. Wow, this slope actually goes on for a while. Longer than I thought it would. Um, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's. Wait, is this, the, like, the end of, 
Okay, this, never mind. This is the end of number four. Okay. So now we just turn around and head back down. Can you, like, build a house here? Buy facility. Okay. Small extension. Every ski station comes with a small extension. A space where you can build, uh, a space where you can build a relatively inexpensive facility. Click on buy to see the selection of facilities. Let's see. Info booth, child care, drugstore, souvenir shop. Mm. Provide secure for almost everything. <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm going to go with a basic info booth. Just a basic, basic in info booth. Let's see. Uh, info, booths, bleh, info booths help your guests find... Finding the facilities. The, whoever wrote the text for this game was a horrible writer. They, did, they obviously didn't read over it before they <laughs> published the game. Um, how do you... Would you... Oh, okay, so you... Never mind. Just cancel and... Normal, I guess. And Okay. So we've got an, uh, we've got a facility there. Now we can go back to doing the slopes, and we do have a time limit for this. But I'm not sure what is this for. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'll buy this one too. Food stall, ski rental, weather station, kiosk, ski patrol, ski school. Um, I'm gonna go with the... I'm gonna go with the ski rental. I feel like I need that. Like, it's something that would be... I, I feel like it's something that I would definitely, definitely be able to use. Alright, come on then. We gotta finish this slope. I wanna say, before it's finished, probably... Three more passes? Like, optimistically, three more passes? Then again, like I said, I'm not sure. I need to be using the full width of this thing, dang. But I want to overlap a little bit so I miss as little as possible. Because that would suck if I had to go and clean up a bunch of spots that I missed. Coming back down is way quicker than going up, that's for sure. Yeah, nearly the whole bottom section is already done. Oh, back it up. I do not want to leave a spot like there, like a spot right there like that. That is just horrible. Very perfectionistic when it comes to this kind of thing. Cause I feel like if you have to plow, like not plow, but uh, but like groom a slope or something like that, you gotta you've gotta do all of it. Like you can't just do like you can't just be like, oh, I'll do like eighty percent of it. No. I do all of it. That is staggering 18 miles an hour. I wonder what the top speed of this thing is. And I feel like that's something that if only a car guy would would say, like, only only a petrol head would get in um, a snow vehicle like this and say, I wonder what the top speed is. I wonder what the top speed is in reverse. That's what I want to know. And maybe only... Well, I was, I was almost about... I was going to say maybe one more pass. But then again... Probably two. Probably two. Not for this part, though. We can get all this with one. Or almost all of it. I feel like we're going to have to do one pass that's, like, literally all about just going through and cleaning things up. Oh, come on. Stupid thing. Stupid! Go! Go, go, go! <laughs> yeah, it gets a lot wider here. We're going to need more passes for this part. By far the widest part of the run. And you can see that little meter is starting to go up. It's already like halfway. A little bit past halfway, actually. Oh, 
I wish it was all kind of like the same width the whole way. That would be nice. That'd be really nice. Because then you wouldn't have to think about it. You would just like, you just do passes like just back and, well, not back and forth, but up and down. And you'd be good to go after a while. Are you serious? There's still a patch there? You're going to be kidding me. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's finish this up. Only one more pass after this. Well, for the for the lower areas, maybe, but for the like mid and higher areas, it's gonna take more. Yeah, for like right here, it's gonna take more than one more. I'll just like focus on these particular sections then. Did I just pronounce that in incorrectly? I did, didn't I? I said particular. Particular. I <laughs> said particular. Damn. That grammar, though. <laughs> and shout out to whoever said that in the comments of one of my trials videos. You know who you are if you said it. Come on, come on, really there. <laughs> cool, uh, co oh, cool story I actually wanted to tell you guys. Um, and it's... I'm going to keep everything, all the other details about this kind of... Uh, kind of you know just not really reveal all of them just because there's a special video uh based on this that is coming but um on uh, on sunday i went to a uh, i went to a car meet and um in a, in well just outside of atlanta in alpharetta called uh, caffeine and octane um in in georgia for those of you guys that either don't know or don't live around the area and there were there was literally like every everything you could ever want at a car meet was there like you had everything from your uh you know lamborghini aventador roadsters gallardos ferrari f430s 458 spiders porsche gt3s you had all of your soup all of your supercars um you had muscle cars um whole rows of mustangs and then you had um you had awesome uh imports um there were several uh several sections of the meat that were like literally just JDM and and then you had the stuff that you didn't imagine was going to be there like for example there was this massive massive military truck with tires as tall as I am and I'm like 5'9 so I mean there were absolutely massive tires and there will be um there will be a video coming very soon once I finish uh, editing all of it because it was a lot of footage to edit but um um yeah it was it was an absolutely awesome time I took my FRS down there and I um again I won't uh, I won't give away too many of the details but um I uh there were a few other FRS's there and a couple of BRZ's and when I got there the entire lot was full and I didn't get a chance I didn't get a chance to park next to any of the other uh any of the other um BRZs or what the heck a skier had an accident at the slope 8 use a rescue stretcher to transport the person to the next helipad um okay oh, wait I denied it what oh dang it I did not mean to do that I seriously did not mean to do that I was looking at the other um part of the screen and thinking about uh thinking about what I was telling you guys damn I meant to do that but um just back to what I was telling you guys the, um, the video will have all sorts of stuff in it, but um, I, uh, like I said, I was trying to park next to uh, some other FRSs or BRZs, and like I said, they, um, the whole lot was full by the time I got there, so I didn't really get a chance to do that, but it was still absolutely amazing, and there will be a video uh, coming coming very soon, as soon as, like I said, as soon as I can get all the editing finished, um, that I shot basically entirely with my GoPro Hero 3 uh, just in my hand and it was fun it was a really really good meet it was a really good time um got to talk to some awesome people and there was uh there was a bunch of amazing cars there so um definitely keep an eye out for that video hopefully i'll have that out um, a little bit later this week i want to get i want to get it to where i'm satisfied with um with the way it's all synced up and everything and um i definitely want to take my time and get that video the exact way i want it um because editing clips like that like real life clips is a little bit different than doing a commentary obviously so it takes a little bit more because i i don't really do that kind of thing very often and i want to kind of start doing it more 
because I feel like it's it's a good skill and it's and it's fun as well. It's, and it's like I said, it's a good skill to have to just to be able to do that and be comfortable doing that. So um, I will definitely try to see if I can do more of those real lifestyle videos. But uh, but like I said, we'll see. And how's that looking? How's that meter? It's full. All right. I should actually move this off of the uh, the slope. I feel like I would have gotten paid for that or something, but I guess not. I don't know. Like, I feel like I would have. Uh, starting stations. Du -du 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 -du. Um. Okay. Okay. Uh, or, no. Yes. Manage station. Okay. Station, um... Buell. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Recommended price. Let's bump that to 20. Actually, let's make it 18. Just a little bit less. Let's make it 18. Let's see. If you manage the station wisely, you can overcome its limitations and soon start uh, and soon earn enough money to move on to bigger things. Let's see. I'm good to go with that. I've adjusted the price a little bit, but I'm good to go with that. I remember, yeah, the helpline from Farming Simulator. I remember that. Opening hours. Ski is open daily from 7 to 22. Uh, outside these times, you will not encounter any guests on the slopes or lifts. Okay. And I was like, where's the build icon? Because I feel like we could build something here. Small extension. Why the small extension? I'm going to do, like, right down here at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to do the souvenir shop down here. And... Let's do normal pricing. And that should be good to go. And what do we have over here? The ATM. Or check finances. So basically... Um, so you could do loans just like you can in Farming Simulator. Very, very similar to Farming Simulator. Pretty much the same game, just in a ski region. <laughs> just in a ski region. And I feel like at some point you should be able to buy new slopes, and I'm trying to look for other vehicles. And so I guess you could buy hotels as well. Okay, hotel, $120,000, which is... Wow, damn, that's cheap. That would be probably, like, more like, um... In the that would be far into the millions for real. Um, we're gonna do that later. <laughs> we're gonna buy that later. But um, I feel like I don't know. It's an interesting game, and I feel like it's something I'll have to get the hang of. But let me know. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see more Ski Region Simulator because it's one of those games where it's more chill, and I can kind of talk more with you guys. It's more of a game where I can just kind of. Um, just relax and have kind of a conversation with you guys rather than, like, being crazy focused on the game the whole time. I mean, that's fun, too, and those videos are really fun to, to record. But again, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.